Jeffrey Alina, and I'm the packaging supervisor at Dogfish. Typically, we run with six guys in line. We like to have one guy free for quality checks, for you know, day-to-day -day activities, projects, things like that. The bottom line's come a long way you know, since Dogfish started by piecing things together as we grow. It's still a very uh, manual process in a lot of ways. So these guys really got to work, work to, to get the line to perform where we want it to be. Our line hooks into a piping system that uh, receives the beer from the bright tanks. Uh, and once that comes into line, it's go from there. Initially, we get glass in bulk form on a pallet and that is staged onto the depalletizer where the operator cuts the plastic, cuts the straps, and then he sweeps one layer at a time onto a larger conveyor. It's been a dogfish tradition to have a hockey stick. Uh, we've tried other devices in the past, but it's typically the best thing, and it has to be a left-handed hockey stick. That conveyor then leads to a twist rinser. Twist rinser basically inverts the bottle and uh, blows it with ionized air. This gets any particles or anything like that out of the bottle. Uh, from that point on, it, it's, it cycles to the, uh, on the conveyor to the filler. And once it gets in the filler, it does a couple of things. The bottle is placed in a position where it, it's sealed onto the filling valves. So once it fills up, we jet it with a tight stream of water. And uh, this creates foam over inside the bottle. Once you get the foam over, then we cap it. The reason for the foam over is to get rid of all the oxygen in the bottle, or as much as the oxygen we possibly can. Once it runs through the label, we're putting either a neck and body label, body label on it, or just a body label. Uh, then that cycles to the drop packer, where it gets put into a basically a case with either four packs or six packs in it, and then sealed up and palletized by an operator. They broke two records in a month, which is unheard of for me in, in the history of, uh, of any production flights. The previous record was 8,500 cases in a, sh in a day, a two-shift day. It broke that at 87.04, and then two weeks later shattered it again with 8,883 cases in a two-shift day. So it was a great job on the team. Currently, right now, we can't run 12 miles or 750 at the same time. Those require us to actually physically change parts in the machine. The bottles are wider and the bottles are taller. So, uh, but going in the future, we'll, we will be able to. Uh, because we'll have two existing lines. The current bottom line will be turned into a 750 line and a new bottom line is being designed right now.